Are you gearing up to handle various plumbing tasks at home? Welcome to MechMinds Hub, where you'll know some practical plumbing techniques for your everyday plumbing needs. Let's get started! Getting to know how your house's water pipes work is important for keeping things running and for when things go wrong. There are two main parts, the clean water coming in and the used water going out. The most important valve to turn off your water, usually found near where you check your water use, is key for stopping water flow when you need to fix something or in case of an emergency. It's good to know about the smaller valves found under your sinks and toilets so you can deal with problems right there. It's also helpful to know about the different kinds of pipes like PVC, copper, and PEX because they all need to be taken care of in their own way. Checking your pipes often can help stop big issues before they start. If you run into something complicated, it's best to call an expert. Wondering how to clear block drains? To do this right, begin with a plunger. If that doesn't clear it, try using a plumber's snake, also called a drain auger. This gadget can get to blockages that are further down that the plunger can reach. Push the snake down the drain and twist it to grab and remove the stuff blocking the pipe. It's best not to use strong chemical cleaners first as they can eat away at pipes, especially in old houses with metal pipes. Using these tough chemicals a lot can end up being expensive to fix. If the problem keeps happening, think about using gentler, nature-friendly options or get a skilled plumber to handle it safely. It's really important to fix running toilets so you can save water and money on your bills. Usually, the problem is with the flapper not closing right, which lets water keep flowing from the tank to the toilet bowl. Here's what you need to do. Turn off the water going to the toilet and flush it to get rid of the water in the tank. Take out the old flapper and remember how big it is and what it looks like. Go to a store where they sell stuff for fixing houses and get one that's the same kind. Put the new flapper in place and hook up the chain again, but don't make it too tight or too loose. Turn the water on again and see if the toilet flushes right. If the water fills up too much or not enough, you might need to move the float. You want the water to stop filling about an inch below the top of the overflow pipe. Doing this easy fix can help you save a lot of water every year. Do you know how to swap out a leaky faucet washer? You just need to stop the water flow, take off the handle and the part it's connected to, and find the old washer. When you spot it, take it off. It's usually held on by a screw. Then, get a new washer that's the same size and shape as the old one. Once you've got the new washer in, put everything back together. Turn the water back on and make sure there's no more dripping. This quick fix can help you save water and make your faucet last longer without the bother of a constant drip. Teflon tape is really important for making sure pipes are screwed together without any leaks. Here's what you need to do. First, clean the pipe threads to get rid of any dirt. Next, take the end of the Teflon tape and place it on the second thread from the end of the pipe. Wrap the tape tightly around the threads, going in the same direction as the threads, about three to six times. Be sure the tape covers all the threads but doesn't go over the end of the pipe. After wrapping, press the tape down into the thread so it sticks. Finally, twist the pipes together really tight. This way, you'll have a tight and leak-free connection that keeps your pipes in good shape. Pipe wrenches help you hold and turn pipes and basin wrenches are made for tight spots under sinks. Adjustable wrenches can change size to fit different things. If you use these tools the right way, you won't hurt the hardware and you'll make sure everything fits tightly. It's key to pick the correct tool for what you're doing. Use just enough force and not make things too tight so you don't mess up how your plumbing looks or works. Putting in devices that save water in your house is a smart and effective move to use less water and lower your bills. By choosing shower heads and faucets that let less water through, you can really reduce how much water you use. These gadgets limit the water flow, so they give out a powerful spray that's just as good as the usual kind. 
they not only save an important natural resource but also helps you live in a way that's better for the planet. Also, putting them in is usually simple and something you can do yourself, which means most people who own homes can do it. Taking up these water-saving actions can make a big difference to the environment, encouraging a way of life that values saving water and being aware of how we use it. When you find frozen pipes, it's very important to warm them up slowly to avoid any harm. Start warming the pipes close to the tap using something like a hair dryer or a heat lamp to heat them gently. Move slowly towards the part that's frozen, making sure the heat spreads out evenly. This way, the ice inside the pipes melts bit by bit and water starts flowing again without the temperature changing too quickly, which could make the pipes crack or burst. Remember to turn the tap on a little bit. Because as the ice melts, water will start to flow and you need to let out any built-up pressure. Controlling water pressure is very important for keeping your pipes and taps in good shape. Even though strong water pressure might feel great during a shower, it can actually be too much for your pipes and taps, causing them to leak or even break. If you put in a pressure regulator, you can keep the pressure at a level that's safe which stops damage and helps your plumbing last longer. This way, you can count on your water supply more and avoid spending a lot on fixing things. Getting a pressure regulator is a smart choice because it protects the pipes and taps in your house and helps save water by lowering the chance of losing water through leaks. Knowing how to swap out important parts of your toilet, like the fill valve and the flush valve, is important for keeping your toilet working right. These parts are really important for managing how water comes in and goes out of the toilet tank, and they might stop working or get worn out after a while. If you learn how to change them, you can avoid common toilet problems like a toilet that keeps running or doesn't flush strongly, which can waste a lot of water. If you have some simple tools and learn a little about how to do it, most people who own their homes can change these parts themselves. This makes sure their toilets work well and saves water. If you found these plumbing techniques helpful, be sure to join in the conversations below. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, share, and subscribe to MechMind's Hub channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching.